friends welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about how you can create a chatbot in python so chatbot is basically the latest concept that is being used in each and every product that you design because this is a concept that is going to replace the human and the chatbot is basically behaves like a human being and it is used to do most of the things that was being done using the assistance of a customer care or a particular user group so we will discuss what is the concept of chatbot and how you can create a chatbot what is the library that is being used what is the concept of a chatbot and how you can implement how you can install it on your system and you can implement it what is a natural language processing what is natural language toolkit so we will be discussing everything in this particular video so friends let us start the video if you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button so that you get important updates whenever a new video is uploaded on the channel so first question is what is a chatbot a chatbot is basically a artificial intelligence powered piece of software like you are using alexa siri google assistant so basically they are all artificial intelligence powered software so they know how to tackle they are trained these chatbots are trained so they know different if and else how to uh, resolve the query of the customer and they are trained to perform a particular task like if you are visiting a hotel booking website so that chatbot is only trained to uh trained to perform hotel booking operations so the questions that that chatbot will be asking that will be all related to hotel booking similarly some transaction so that transaction chatbot is basically trained to do all the transaction types of work it is used to resolve all the queries that are basically for a customer that is going for that transaction and today each and every company whether it is a website whether it is a product owned company they have their chatbot and this chatbot is going to work just like human being and it is reducing lot of efforts that is that was being done by a, a real human being now if i talk about the chatbot the concept of chatbot is not new it has been over the years and if i talk about the history like the first chatbot it was uh it was in 1966 and the name of the chatbot was eliza and it imitated the language of a physiotherapist from only 200 lines of code so basically this chatbot concept is not new but since every company that wants to Uh, promote his product it must have a chatbot that can take care of his customers so we now we will talk about the different types of chatbots so we have only two types of chatbot one is your rule based approach and second is self learning rule based approach means there will be some set of rules some set of training that will be given to that chatbot and that chatbot will function as, as the rules and the rules defined they are, they can be very simple or complex but the thing is if there is any new thing then that particular chatbot will not be able to do that so the negative part is that once you once a chatbot is made using some set of rules so it will be behaving exactly similar over the years so there will be no change because it will be a rule based approach and if i talk about the other approach that is self learning self learning boards so this is something it is machine learning so not only it updates over the period of time it keeps on learning so this particular thing is like whatever the rules is fed to this self learning board it follows that rules and apart from that it also does some self learning process it put some more rules some more ways to identify and solve the issues of the customer so the second approach that is self learning boards that is very important because 
in that approach this particular chatbot keeps on learning over a period of time and there are many new things that are implemented in that now we come to the main point like how you can build a bot how can you create a chatbot and we are talking about rule based chatbot or you can also create self learning or self learning chatbot so for that like we need to have a natural process language processing so that natural language processing is basically uh, the interaction between human language and computers so that is natural language because the chatbot behaves like a human being so it gives you response based upon voice or text so that particular thing should be learned by this chatbot so natural language processing is a way for computers to analyze understand and then derive, derive meaning from human language so the major bottleneck for building a bot is nlp so this nlp is very very important so we can say the major good thing for building a bot is natural language processing because that particular issue or that particular interaction with the chatbot is being done by some language so there should be natural language processing so that the chatbot understand what the user is saying and then it can reply based upon that so we have a natural language processing concept in python and second thing is we have a toolkit called natural language toolkit and which is the leading platform to build python programs and this particular natural language toolkit it basically process the string or the language and then it can just communicate to the chatbot and then chatbot respond so it provides an interface and there are number of uh, natural language toolkits like we have wordnet we have different text processing libraries which are nlp libraries and then in order to implement this chatbot we must have this natural language toolkit that must be installed so before that you must have python installed if you haven't installed python just install it you can go to the python website and you can just download zip for windows and for mac you can download some uh, the the format that is being required by mac and then we have a pip uh, module that is used to install natural language toolkit and once you import this natural language toolkit then first of all since it is natural language processing so it start processing the language and it pre processes it and then convert it into either 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 lower case or upper case so that the algorithm does not treat the same words in different cases so if we have a particular word in upper case and lower case so maybe there is a problem so that it treats these two words in a different way so the main thing is like we pre process all the text so that everything is it in same way and then it uh, this is called pre processing then tokenization that it creates some tokens and sentence tokenizer so it creates a list of sentence and then we have word tokenizer that it creates a list of words so basically these are the basic step through which the chatbot is being created once you have installed it then the, the step is pre processing and after that we create the chatbot based upon the requirements so friends this is all about creating chatbot in the next video we will see how you can programmatically implement a chatbot and this particular concept will be very good for your final semester project so if you like this video please like share and subscribe and thank you for watching this video in the next video we are going to discuss how you can programmatically implement this chatbot for your final semester thank you for watching this